Hi, and welcome to our free mini lesson. We're calling it a tea break class because it's about the right time in which you can make yourself a cup of tea and sit down and learn a bit of English. I'm Sally. It's a free lesson and it's recorded and we're going to publish it on our YouTube channel. This is so everybody can learn a bit of English too. If you participate in our lessons, then you agree to allow us to make this session public. That means that if you don't want to have your camera open when you come, then that's absolutely fine. And if you don't want your name, your real name, you can, of course, come by alias. You can use a different name if you want to. Or many people don't use a name at all, just log in and join. Do you like to travel? Today we're talking all about transport and travel. What is this? It's a motorbike. Do you like to travel by motorbike? When I was younger, I liked to travel by motorbike. It's exciting. It goes very fast, but it can also be a little bit scary and perhaps not as safe as I would like it now that I've got children. Hmm. What's this? We could say it's a bus, a bus. We can also describe this kind of bus as a coach. The kind of bus that travels long distances is in English, in British English, called a coach. Do you like to travel by coach? Have you ever been on a long journey by coach? When I was younger, I traveled to Spain by coach. It was a very long way, but we did manage to sleep in the seats. It wasn't very comfortable, but there was a toilet on board, which made it quite convenient. Another reason people might travel by bus is that it's cheap. What's this? This is a picture of a train in some very beautiful scenery. Do you like to travel by train? Can you think about a journey that you've made by train? Train travel is very convenient. We can get up and move around a little bit more than perhaps we can on a bus. We can look out of the window and see the scenery. This is a beautiful view from the, the windows of this train. The reason we might not want to travel by train is that you have to keep to the train timetable. It's not very flexible. Perhaps you could say the same about bus travel. What's this? This is a tram. Do you like to travel by tram? Have you seen a tram in your town or city nearby? Not every country uses trams. They're quite convenient. They're quiet. So they very often run on electricity like this one. So they can be what's called green methods of transport. They can be ecologically friendly. If we drive with cars in the middle of the city, the pollution ends up in the middle of the city. But if we use a tram and we generate the electricity in a clean way, this can be a good method. What's this? You could say it's a boat. 
but you could also say it's a ferry. A ferry moves people or things usually over quite short distances from one place to another on the water. Ferries tend to have a flatter bottom and they're quite small compared to ships. But they are very convenient if you need to travel across water. Have you ever been on a ferry? Have you ever been on a boat or a ship? Were you ever in a storm or rough water on a boat? Sometimes we can feel a bit sick if the water's rough. What can you see in this picture? This is a metro or a subway. Or you also might hear the term underground train. This is a very convenient way of traveling. Again, you have to stick to the timetable, but subway trains tend to go quite frequently. They're considered to be a clean way to get around, to move around in big cities. And again, the pollution is important. If we think about pollution, these trains are non-polluting, at least in their local area. They run on rails and they use electricity. Have you ever owned a scooter? This is a shiny red scooter. It's very cute, I think. Some people rent scooters or hire scooters when they go abroad on holiday. And in some countries, many people ride scooters. You can also call this a moped. They are cheap. They are efficient. You can move in between the cars. But it's quite difficult to carry the whole family or the shopping on the back of a scooter. So far, all the ways we've talked about traveling, we've used buy, buy scooter, buy train, buy ferry. If we're walking, we don't say by walking. It's a phrase we don't use. If we're traveling, and we're walking at the same time, we say we're on foot. Do you like to go on foot? How will you come to my house? Will you come by bus or on foot? Do you like to go on foot? I think sometimes we can really appreciate the scenery if we go on foot. We can walk in beautiful places. You see things when you're walking that you might not notice when you're driving by car. You can smell the flowers or the nature nearby. You can feel the sunshine on your skin. Have a look at the list 
and tell me which one's the fastest? A motorbike? A bus? A train? A tram? A taxi? An aeroplane? An aeroplane? A car? A ship? A scooter? A ferry? A bicycle? Or an underground or subway train? What do you think? I think the fastest is probably the aeroplane. Would you agree with me? The slowest? Hmm. A bicycle? I suppose it depends how fast you can cycle. How do people usually travel in your town? How do school children travel? Do they go by bus? Or do they walk to school? Do they go on a foot? How about students and young people? Do they go by bus? Or do they go by bike? Do they cycle everywhere? Nowadays, things are changing, but I wonder how business people in your town travel. Sometimes I've seen business people with very small, convenient fold-up bikes. But perhaps more generally, they travel by car or train. How do old people travel in your town? And what about police officers? That's all from today's lesson. I'll leave you with this slide to remind you that if you'd like to come to the next lesson, sign up for Zoom and the Zoom classroom is here below, gimara.zoom.us and then my and Sally Ann. Send me a WhatsApp message plus three five eight four four two seven three two one nine three and I can help you if you've got any problems. See you next time. Bye bye.